Now listen to what Maryland Democrat Governor Wes Moore says about the border crisis. Watch this. When people think about the border crisis and they think that this is only impacting a handful of states, you know, Hartford County in our state, where this, where this, where this brutal murder happened, is 1,800 miles away from the border. And so when people think this is only impacting a few states, this is impacting every single one of us. This inaction that we continue to see to get any form of sensible immigration policy done is impacting all of us because all of us in local jurisdictions deal with the consequences of this. Oh, I guess I... ICE Director Ronald Vitiello joins me now. Sir, is ICE still constrained in sanctuary cities and states? Well, that's a very good point, Stuart. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, it's exactly right. You know, there is a problem with the way the policy is enacted at the border today, right? This presidency, the Biden presidency, he blew up all the control levels that they have. But you do have states like Maryland, Massachusetts, California that refuse to cooperate with the men and women of the front line at DHS, and they don't want to cooperate with ICE. When people like these criminals get taken into custody, they should be turned over to federal authorities so they can be removed but, from the United States. And but, so, but Ron, yeah, if it's, it's so obvious, why, why, why doesn't this change? What, if it, look, if it's so obvious, why doesn't it change? Why do we still have sanctuary cities and states? Yeah, well, the last administration took it on. They were not successful in the courts. Um, but this is going to have to be done by the people. They're going to have to elect people that want to represent them, have safe communities and safe streets. And part of that is making sure that criminals that are in the country illegally don't have a sanctuary here. Right. Look, uh, experts are warning that the, th the threat of a terror attack in big cities like New York, Washington, dangerously high. Ron, has the terror threat ever been higher? I don't believe it has. Like, we were unaware before 9-11, but since 9-11, the government, the people, everybody realizes we had to do different things about who came and went into the left into the country. Um, a lot of those things have been shored up. But right now, for the last three plus years under the Biden administration, we've had a border that's out of control. And it's not just people coming for a better life. It's not just people coming from a certain region in the hemisphere. These people are coming from all over the world. Uh, the latest, you know, an uh, impactful example is what happened with these eight folks from Tajikistan who not only came here illegally and were released into the United States by federal authorities, uh, they were plotting something that luckily the FBI and Homeland Security investigations found out about and took them back into custody. But that risk exists mm. because of the policy, because of the flow at the border, and because there are people in the world that still want to tear down the West. Very true. Ron Vitiello, thanks for joining us, sir. See you again soon, I hope. Thank you very much.